In this video, I'll be going through uh, setting up some triple integrals in a region that's not a box. So it turns out there are six different ways of setting up a triple integral depending on what order you want to do the integration in. So here's an example of, of setting up uh, a triple integral setting up a triple integral uh, in several different ways. So let's take, let's do a triple integral over the region bounded by, by four different planes. I'll take the plane defined by this equation x plus 2y plus 3z equals 6, and the three coordinate planes. So the first thing to do is to draw a good picture of this. And just to keep things concrete, let's say, let's call this region call this region Q and say we want to find the volume of this. So we're really finding the triple integral of the function 1 over Q. And now let's try to plot the actual region. So when, when x and y are 0, z is equal to 2. We have this point on there. So right now I'm just trying to sketch this plane. When, when y and z are equal to 0, x is 6. And when x and z are 0, y is equal to 3. So we sort of have this shape. And we're bounded by the three coordinate planes here. So we have this triangular shape sitting in the corner of the first octant. And we want to do a triple integral over this region. And like I said, depending on how you want to order your iterated integral, there are six different ways of doing this. I'll try to go through three different ways. So let me draw the region real fast in the corner. So one way I could set up this integral is by thinking, by letting the x values go from 0 to 6 on the outside, and then thinking about, for each given x value, what values of y and z are allowed. Or for each given x value, um, which ordered pairs x, y, z sit inside the region. So if I pick a specific x between 0 and 6, I'm looking at cutting this shape at some spot here, and I get a triangle right there. So the allowed ordered pairs y, z will be in this triangle when I pick a specific x value. So let me draw this triangle separately. So this is in the y, z plane. and this is some shape uh, bounded by a line and the two coordinate axes. The line is going to involve x in some way because the shape we have changes depending on which x value we're at. In fact, the line is given by, in some sense, the equation of our plane. But now the difference is we're thinking of x as a constant and we have an equation involving just y and z. So yeah, another way of writing this, um, well, we could think about where, where this line intersects the coordinate axes. Let's say when y is 0, we have 3z equals 6 minus x. 
So when y is 0, z is somewhere up here at 6 minus x over 3. And when z is 0, you can solve this for y to see that 2y equals 6 minus x. So y is 6 minus x over 2. So this is when z equals 0. So these are two points on this line thought of as in the yz plane. And here again, x is thought of as a constant. So I have this line. It meets, it meets the y-axis here and the z-axis here. And this is the region. So we've chosen a specific x value, and now we're integrating over this region, which the shape of the region depends on the x value that we've chosen. So now I could, now this is sort of a problem from, from double integrals, because we could think, well, now y goes from 0 to this y value. And now for any given y value, the z values go from 0 to, to the line on this region. Well, the line is given by this equation. And if I've fixed x and y, then z has to be given by, well, let me just solve for it. 3z is this, so z is this divided by 3. So now, once I've chosen x and y, z goes from 0 to this value. So that's an integral with respect to z, and then an integral with respect to y, and then an integral with respect to x. As you can see, doing these is time consuming. Let me, uh, let me just do this one different way. You could, I could have, I could swap these two by instead considering z going from, from zero to six minus x over three, and then thinking about the range of y values. But let me start it over by first considering uh, how y can change. So again, here's the region. And the plane has this equation. And now let me set up the triple integral by first doing an integral with respect to y. So the y values all go from 0 to 3. And then for each given y value, you get some shape like this when you slice. And this will be a shape that I can draw on the xz plane. And this will be some line that has equation given by this, except now we're thinking of y as a constant. So maybe I could write the equation as, as x plus 3z equals 6 minus 2y. So this is an equation involving x and z, and this is something that's a constant. And now when, when z is 0, x is equal to 6 minus 2y. And when x is 0, z is equal to 6 minus 2y over 3. So this is the region we have if we cut with respect to y first. And now I could think about cutting this up um, this way. So in this region, x goes from 0 to there, 0 to 6 minus 2y. And then for any given x value, the z values go from 0 to the point on the line. So the point on the line is is the value of z on this line. So again, now we've chosen x and we've chosen y, and we're seeing what z value we have on that line. 
So it's the same process where I solve for, for z. So z is that. And so this inner integral goes from 0 to this value of z. And that's integral 1 dz. And it takes a long time to compute these, but you could try it yourself and see that you get 6. You should get 6 with, with this ordering and with the previous ordering, of course. And I'll stop there.